here the kinematics question number 15 a train starts from rest and moves with a constant acceleration 2 meters per second square for half a minute the brakes are then applied and the train comes to rest in 1 minute find a the total distance moved by the train b the maximum speed attained by the train c the positions of the train at half of the maximum speed in this question what is given here a train which is starting from rest starting from rest means what is that initial velocity is equal to zero then it is traveling with acceleration 2 meters per second square up to end of the time is half minute that is nothing but 30 seconds it travel some particular distance after traveling some particular distance in 30 seconds then the brakes are applied then the time of brakes applied then it travels with the deceleration in certain time period t is equal to 1 minute that is 60 seconds it will reach to some particular point there that body velocity becomes zero but here three options are given so a that is total distance moved by the train and b maximum velocity attained and c the distance covered in half of the maximum velocity so total three questions are given in this first of all to answer total distance moved by the train that mean total distance means from where to where from here to here so that means divided into two parts this is first part this is second part so here this first part is nothing but i will take s1 yes, is equal to ut plus half at square so here s1 yes, is equal to initial velocity zero no zero time how much here 30 seconds plus half into a means how much here 2 Time means how much here? Thirty into thirty. Two two gets cancelled. Yes, one is equal to thirty into thirty nine hundred meter. Up to here, distance I got, but I want to calculate the distance from here to here. How we will calculate the distance? But here we know the three equations. V equal to u plus eighty. No distance. In that equation, distance is not there. In second equation, yes equal to u t plus half eighty square. their distance is there it may be possibility in third equation v square minus u square equal to 2 as but this is also possibility but remember here to calculate the distance required which one velocity required and acceleration is also required so that means first of all we will calculate the velocity so first of all here this velocity i want to calculate means i will use the formula v is equal to u plus so this v is nothing but u1 is equal to initial velocity already we know that one no zero plus acceleration how much here that is 2 into what is the time here taken 30 that is 30 so u1 is equal to 60 meters per second here this velocity i got this is 60 meters per second but which one calculate acceleration that is acceleration that acceleration is equal to from here to here that is acceleration is nothing but after applying the brakes it move with deceleration but here i will calculate acceleration v minus u divided by t so what is v here this is zero minus initial velocity how much we got here 60 Divided by time, how much here? Sixty. So that means here minus one meters per second square. So it negative sign we got. So that's why it is moving with deceleration. Now I want to calculate distance s yes two. That means from here to here. That is we know the equation v square minus u square equal to two a s. Yes. So here v square this then becomes zero square minus Here u means what is that here u one this is sixty whole square is equal to two into acceleration how much we got minus one into distance yes two so here yes two is equal to three thousand six hundred 
divided by 2. Both side minus minus gets cancelled. On division of this one, yes, 2 is equal to 1800 meters. But which one I want to calculate? Total distance. So total distance means S is equal to S1 plus S2. So how much S1 we got here? 900 meters plus here 1800 meters is equal to 2700 meters or otherwise 2.7 kilometers. This is the option A. Now here option B. In B what they ask here, what is the maximum velocity attained by the train? That means V max attained by train. So V max attained by train means what is that? At what is the velocity at U1, the same velocity we attained by that one. So that means is equal to U1 is equal to 60 meters per second. And here C, I want to calculate that one. What is the position of the train where the maximum velocity becomes half? So that means here position of train at V max divided by 2. So V max how much here? 60 divided by 2 is equal to how much here? 30 meters per second. But I want to calculate that distance. So that means whenever the maximum speed becomes 2, it travels with the 30 meters per second. I want to calculate that distance. So here we know the formula V square minus U square equal to 2A. Yes. But what is V square here? 30 square. That is 30 square. Minus what is the initial velocity? This is. This one is nothing but 60. This one is nothing but 60. So here, 60 square is equal to 2 into. After retaining maximum velocity, it travels with deceleration. So that means minus 1 into S. Yes. So here, minus 2 into S yes is equal to 900 minus 3600 here both s yes, 2s yes, is equal to here subtraction of 3600 minus 900 that is minus 2700 but here distance both sides minus into minus plus s yes, is equal to 210 230 zero that is meters but which one required position of train at this much so that means here I want to calculate the position here. Position is equal to 1350. That means from here to here. Then afterwards, plus this distance is also there now. That is 900 meters. And addition of this one, 0, 5, 2, and here 2. 2250 meters or otherwise. 2.25 kilometers. This is the solution for question number 15.